Togazani, I am Poavadi the advocate of Ilozi, and I welcome you once again to my channel and thank you so much for choosing to view my video. Well, this is a continuation from our class of spirituality and we're still on the beginnings of all spirituality. But on this video, we are talking spiritual growth and understanding where you're going so that you have an understanding of Isi police. I'm really sorry for the silence. I've been yeah it's been crazy um there's so many things in between i'm sure you can even see the fatigue on my face but the teaching goes on so i'm glad to have you here once again so we can begin right so today i'll be talking about spiritual growth is it or that you need to identify in your life and how to go about this should you be called or rather have a spiritual gift in your life because there's so many things that are going around but now when you don't understand where you are going it becomes a problem in your spiritual life on the previous video i was speaking about spiritual stationery just to touch on that and go there's so many things that form part of our spiritual stationery for example, Lamala Pila Sapupai, whatever it is, if you're being shown a certain thing, a regalia, a spiga, whatever the case might be, or it does, whatever the case might be, I suggest you go and into that so that you have them, right? Like I did reiterate in the previous video. Because those things are very important. But now, even when it comes to things like beads, beads are healing powers. Remember, they say Uguti or rather a healer can't heal themselves or in young eyes lab or something along those lines but beads and bangles and all those things in between they are healing powers and you whatever it's like your beads basically in the spiritual world before you get admitted to the the, the, the hospital of Itlozi. these are what we diagnose you with already that's why you find they wear all colors of beads it's because we we put we give you all the pills now we want to be able to diagnose your problem so now what happens is that as you start growing in your spirituality and as a person and you get left with certain colors or rather you, your lozy shows you certain colors and you start to wear certain colors so that is a diagnosis for for whatever it is that i mean someone might say but more or less it's something like that so basically these are like if i lack you know spiritually to make you 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 when you get admitted in the hospital how do they treat you how do they diagnose you and even afterwards they are proof of your healing and the treatment afterwards and showing that you went through the whole nine mile now this is your spiritual work and this is your calling so it's very deep it does not matter what's in tambo in whatever the case might be because people use certain things i've seen people where that were chains like it's a lot of things so it's one of those things having to be able to identify and understand now as a spiritual person that there's so much going on so one might ask you and say what happens when i get the beads or when i get shown the beads it is very important that when you get shown the beads i say wear the beads go into a fasting preferably seven days to 14 days or seven days you know <coughs> i'm sorry about that seven days and going to a fasting her wearing those beads and use your candles to pray so that you can connect and see if there are any feedback or answers or whatever the case might be should after that fasting period end then what will happen is that either or you're either going to get sick or you get something so now it is important to consult as a person because i know people will often consult because they want to know am i going good in your twasa or am i not going to your twasa or in i I'm not an advocate for that because I it makes people lazy. It makes people not invest themselves, not to invest in themselves or in their gifts. What I advise for you to do is that you invest in your spirituality because spiritual growth is important. It is very imperative as um Lucy because you can't dictate Nakona with your dreams and how your dreams are going. Are you always delayed when you're going to school? Are you always traveling to destination nowhere when you're in a transport or and you honestly all the time don't know where you're going? Or sometimes you get lost along the way, you know? There's always these small delays. Or are you being given, presented with certificates, you know, acknowledging your achievements in terms of whatever you've been studying 
towards so it's one of those things so with that whole thing of of, of um, um dreaming of school and something like that the breakdown around that is that the easiest or the simplest way for us to relate namadros to, to make us understand that it goes or rather spirituality is a school of life so now because we have a system that we live in that you know shows us you have to go to school so that you can have a life that's more along the same concept Uguti, go through your schooling go through your training so that you can have a better quality of life so it's like it was saying to you that listen i got the tools let me give you this so now it happens that some people but in reality they are stuck you know sometimes it's very hard to find your way around this because someone might be saying wait how do i go about all these things where do i go who do i go to you know because it's so frustrating because the general thing around this is that before you can embark on your spiritual gift it's important if not, you find someone that can assist you or guide you spiritually. It can be something you pray about. It can be something you seek guidance about. Because it does not necessarily mean Sometimes that person is there to serve a purpose and to show you a lesson so that you can grow better. Because everything that we go through in our spirituality is propelling us forward to whatever our gift is. So it's the same thing that also applies. Umuyotasa. You cannot without forsaking any form of spiritual cleansing so that you can be aligned or rebalanced. Because we go through things, we do things, we experience things, and some other things happen without, you know, um, 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 ulazilates, you know. So now you cannot utale utintis in toza koza madlozi where else uyaz guna makala, you know, gunezin tom champe ezi glandelayo, or guna matunza mabi, or gunin tis, for example, ufunuglum sin toza koza vokoko, and nestre tempulu nako. It's gonna be very hard for you to connect nezin toza madlozi because it's like you are wearing a black cloth over yourself trying to connect to a models anything and everything is going to be a bit hard for you that is why some people are struggling with their dreams that is why some people are struggling with connecting i always say it's important to consult you know don't consult as into what is my gift know what your problem is and then fix it and then after that work towards your gift because now gone are the days whereby gifts are just labeled as when i um put a feet when we sang or we know this gifts are a variety it's just that the box that was used for our glossy ways Uguti, if you're not this you are that so i don't want us as a you know a generation of healers or spiritually awakened people to become lazy and think what is going on you know so i want us to understand whenever you you know what is the problem you are able to sort it and then because even when and all these other things you are more like you know in you know the icu of ilozi and you need some form of revival that is where you seek help from someone but now with the whole seeking help you need to be very smart about it that's why i say pasha and pray for it but the word I want to emphasize today, Uguti, nothing works if you do not have patience. Patience, it is very important. I give myself an example. It was like a little not necessarily a little I don't like that term. My calling, rather, began 2010 and I got initiated 2016. So you can see the time difference. You know, so I wouldn't necessarily say you watching this video, there's something wrong for you, not answering your gift or et cetera, et cetera. Things happen differently for people and pace yourself and be patient because sometimes and you know, right? You know, or else in those amateurs as in Ziwa. Or Mshampa Gunin King as a corner, you know, there's so many things that can be one's hindrance because you might think you're running away and be like, let me go fix this in those amateurs. And you come back and you find your life is more of a struggle than it was initially, you know, and you ask yourself, but how? It is because there's so many underlying factors. What is Uktwasa? 
But what Uktasa does, you know, Uktasa, I'm talking in a broad term of any spiritual gift wherever you get training. Uktasa, what it does, it's like Ikanaganda. You know, it's like a tractor, you know. Um, it just good back young into from her pants and it puts it pizzle. So whatever you are avoiding, you know, if you're thinking that it is a solution, you're using the wrong medium of things. You need to actually go through the route. So now people will always choose the easy way out, but I say there is no easy way out. You need to walk the nine miles. So now in terms of getting to understand your gift and everything else, going to consult and knowing what is going on or it is important. So right, that you breach the connection and the communication. It is done differently through certain ways, but it is up to a person how they feel. Because sometimes you might acknowledge Lelo Jez Lelo when they come or path or go to their grave or connect, whatever the case might be, so that they can be a broader understanding of what that Lucy is bringing into your life. But now, Connor, with all these connections and communications that I'm talking about, it is not something that just happened, you know, miraculously. And remember, I did reiterate, Lucy, I'm a Lucy darling. They love to travel and go to Monaco. So it's not every time that you will get communication to each other. Like, if you can check when you're having spiritual dreams it's only the series of dreams probably like in a week you can have like five okay even have 10 and then it goes quiet and then you start panicking Ooh, what's happening you know and i don't say do not panic because it will give you enough wisdom to sustain you for a year in a week it is how you take that empirical because Tina, we want a constant check in. But when you're not using all of lesos in Toleso and using them and applying them in your life, it tends to be, become a problem with your life and all those other things in between. So it's important that, like I said, Guti, record or rather have a spiritual journal or rather have a spiritual diary where you record your spiritual progress so that you know. Like I said in my previous video that if we knew and understood our power, the days of Uktasa and being dependent spiritually are going to be over. Where else we are going to be spiritual independent, you know, spiritually independent. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, trying to, 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 the, with the face of spiritual to change because now I'm on those way to have awakened each and every one of us and they've given us the abilities but it's just that we are so afraid to tap into the unknown is that we let everything slide so I'm here today to tell you that it is now time if I'm you watching this video and it is touching you and you're like Gogo I need to stand up for Imperiami seek whatever it is that you're being told to do go before it's like you can't treat something with you can't you know you can't treat something in echo you need to first diagnose it and then we treat that so that uzo pola but now you don't want that you know there's so much constraints that are going on in the background that you are not aware of and is in those they are very deep and private so when it comes to using this financing so you need to know that this is a journey that you're gonna walk alone not with friends not with a boyfriend not with anybody right so with these things that it was like will come forth and show you like i'm a buy or anything else do get them you know and have them if you do not yet have the necessary knowledge to use them before you do lesos in Toledo, seek some spiritual help or attention and get an analysis or a spiritual x-ray of your life so that if i might broadly say before you can embark on these things because now the thing is that like i was i just i just said is that there's so many problems going in and around us is that these problems catch up with us at a later stage so when it comes to things like evaluating your life and being honest about yourself it is very important it is like you know having a cover letter when you want to apply to university, why should we accept you as the Institute of Lozi? And you need to actually be broad why you want to be accepted there. We, like, why now? You understand what makes you ready now, you know? Because there's no, you know, like, um, there's no remedy around this. There's no recipe around this. We all work 
or rather walk our different journeys differently so you do for you as how you want it to be unpacked or rather you know to work in 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 your life so with what i've said today i was just dropping a message in that for spiritual growth it is important to grow you cannot be having the same dream for continuous years when you see that happening or that it means there is a certain area or that dream is highlighting something that you need to outgrow or rather grow into so that you can move from it so that you can be propelled forward now you listen to your dreams you listen to how you you perceive isn't it, spiritually i think we're gonna get to that once i i you know move on to other videos but with what i'm saying that spiritual growth is important gauge your dreams how have your dreams been since you started upasha is the connection clearer how are you connecting more what is happening you know you gauge those things because there are certain dreams that will be recurring where else it is, it is a deep message that it is bringing into your life where else some dreams will just come but if like the school dreams those patterns never end you're always late for class something is distracting you food you know you're very you will dig in and all these things you need to know that there's certain things that are hindering your 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 your, your progress and it's always not the case to go to Uyatagatiwa. sometimes it's generational curses sometimes it's things we cover inside our spiritual lives you know it's not every time that when things don't go wrong because we always are too quick to say you being witchcraft and all these other things remember energies negative energies pile up in our life you might be carrying on ne negative energies from 2010 because you're not fixing your life you're not realigning you're not balancing yourself so it's important every now and then to go for a spiritual spring cleaning so that you know that you're pushing the reset button as in Denzako. so it's important to just understand this is in Toneso as a person so that you move better with greater knowledge and understanding of who you are so i just wanted to just give you you know some words of wisdom and some words of encouragement you know and refresh your blood a little to bring you back into focus so that when i now start uploading more videos on these topics you now have a clear of understanding of on what level we are at and where you are at as a person because like i told you that i'm going to be dedicating this year to just nothing but teaching because that is important that is what we need to understand as a people so that you do not feel stuck or feel lost i cannot you know um make you talk to you you need to walk the mile if you're looking for easy and magic this is not the department you need to look for i suggest you go to the department of arts and culture because this is the department of lozy and everything oh my lozy it's just amazing you know so it's one of those things that are there so i will just you know do my work as a spiritual person but in donenye a corner learn to grow as a person and learn to spread your wings and broaden the, the spectrum because like every, it's it's a lot you know don't cage yourself up don't box yourself up allow yourself to evolve and sometimes even with people that you might like you probably might see beads and all these other things you decide to have them sometimes because there's so many things going on in around your life uh, that bind you spiritually you go by these beats and nothing happens you go by the might be nothing happens go for a spiritual x-ray sometimes it's not about your shoulder because i want to know what's going on but i want a way forward with my spiritual life yes i know i have a gift yes i know this and i want a way forward just practical as that because i always say consultations in corner are phases it's an x-ray it's another x-ray and then it's an x-ray it's an x-ray one then x-ray two now checking your progress of the diagnosis and now x-ray you know so now when you're not growing you'll always be stuck at position one that is what i think we are here for to always be able to say my name is tuma sambe so land i'm a file when you do the admin and we able to go get your phone and be like Mm, you know doing this properly get your act together dear human you know so it's just one of those things no so let's start you know being spiritually open-minded so that we can grow better and develop develop better into our spirituality as a people so i thank you once again um for viewing my video and um i will be surely back with more um, um videos once again i just um been hectic please bear with me um, um i just need the time it has just been a 
stressful week i think i'll just put that in diary sessions and stressful month but we'll just catch up on that on diary sessions because you know diary sessions that's what they're about but other than that thank you so much for being part of my channel and i appreciate each and every one of you don't forget to like subscribe if you still haven't and do leave your beautiful comments down below and i'll surely check up on them so for me Mpabadimu, the advocate of Ilozi, i'm signing out but i'll definitely see you later because it's like oh my Ilozi, what would youtube be without Mpabadimu? and what would Mpabadimu be without youtube <laughs> gotcha so i'll definitely see you later but thank you so much um for being my video to the side